Louisville's skyline is a beautiful mix of old and new. But some of that old was giving Metro government cause for concern, wasting energy and draining the city's operations budget. It just amazes me that they're able to keep some of this equipment up and going. Uh, the chillers operating, the boilers operating. Maintenance staff in some city-owned buildings had to be creative to keep building occupants comfortable. We had to put a lawn sprinkler on top of it and leave the lawn sprinkler working so that it would cool it enough to produce the air conditioning for inside. With those equipment breakdowns, you're affecting somebody and their, their ability to perform their work. Yeah, it's really hard to type when, you're, when your fingers are freezing, um, so it definitely slows things down a little bit. Louisville Metro certainly was not alone in these challenges. Amongst our peers, I believe we're all facing the same issues. Everybody has a backlog of deferred maintenance issues looming large over our heads. The energy efficiency of our facilities, uh, that's a long-term cost. And if you don't deal with it in, in the short term, you're going to pay for those inefficiencies for a considerable number of years. Following the economic recession, capital budgets were stretched thin. Revenues were down. Uh, there was limited funds available to address deferred maintenance issues. Still, Louisville had a clear goal. Despite mounting deferred maintenance, the city hired a sustainability director and launched an initiative called Sustain Louisville to promote the city's vision. We really want to get recognized as a leader in the country for our energy savings and conservation practices. The mayor outlined a plan to reduce per capita energy use 25% by 2025. We set some really big goals with our sustainability plan and we were looking for the right partner that could help us achieve those goals. They found that partner and today Louisville is well on its way to becoming a sustainable city of choice. The municipality is funding $27 million in energy savings upgrades at the zoo, aquatic center, fire stations, corrections facilities, and municipal buildings all over the city. And they're doing it without using taxpayer dollars or incurring debt. And to see new equipment going in, and they've, they've started maintaining the equipment better, we've got more people operating on better, and it's, it's just a great project. Next, the funding strategy and the partner, helping Louisville to achieve its sustainability goals. 